heart is a muscle that works continuously, much like a pump. Each beat of your heart is set in motion by an electrical signal from the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. The SA node is in the right atrium, one of the two upper chambers of your heart. The electrical signal spreads across the cells of your heart's right and left atria. This signal causes the atria to contract and pump blood through the open valves from the atria into both ventricles. The signal arrives at the atrial ventricular node, also known as the AV node, near the ventricles. Here it slows for an instant to allow your heart's right and left ventricles to fill with blood. During atrial fibrillation, the atria contract very rapidly and irregularly. This happens when the electrical signal begins in a different part of the atrium than the SA node. Abnormal electrical signals tend to begin in the left pulmonary veins, rather than the SA node. Atrial fibrillation also can happen if the signal is conducted abnormally. The abnormal electrical signal causes the walls of the atria to quiver rapidly or fibrillate instead of contracting normally. As a result, the atria don't work efficiently and don't pump all their blood into the ventricles. If all the blood does not flow into the ventricles, the blood that remains pools in the atria. If blood pools in the atria, clots can form. This increases the risk of stroke because part of a clot can break off and travel to the brain. During atrial fibrillation, the ventricles continue to contract from the heart's electrical activity. However, the abnormal electrical signal traveling from the atria through the AV node make the ventricles beat faster than normal. As a result, the ventricles don't pump blood efficiently. This can lead to heart failure, a condition in which the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. In patients with atrial fibrillation, there are two main therapeutic strategies. Whichever strategy is chosen, it is very important to carefully assess and control the patient's blood clot and or stroke risk with appropriate blood thinners. Heart rate control strategies where atrial fibrillation is accepted and the therapeutic goal is to control the heart rate, here the options are either medication or a pacemaker. Heart rhythm control strategies to prevent atrial fibrillation and the where the therapeutic goal is to maintain normal heart rhythm, here the options include antiarrhythmic drugs or catheter ablation, which can be curative. Thank you.